Judas and the Black Messiah, a movie directed by Shaka King exploring the story of Fred Hampton, a young charismatic activist that becomes a chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, putting him directly in the crosshairs of the government, the FBI and the Chicago police. But to destroy the revolution the authorities are going to need a man on the inside. Firstly I gotta praise the acting, what a wonderful performance by Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield. I was mesmerized just appreciating how good they were in terms of portraying such iconic people present in history. When it comes to biopics or films based off historical events, I love when these depict what happened in the past with a slice of difference. It depends on the elements but I do like when they go far and inaccurate as long as they don't disrespect history. That's why I love The Trial of Chicago 7. That film has a lot of comedy and satire to make you feel uncomfortable towards the subject matter. Although here there's a more serious approach in tone, you still get the feeling that the film is trying to get on your nerves and make you understand the people's motivations when it comes to defend their rights and fight for what they believe. And regarding the topic, it doesn't force the message into you. It presents situations so you have your own conclusions. And that's how a film like this should always be presented. And that's the thing that gave me anxiety throughout the runtime. All of the events in this movie and the situation that the characters are in made me feel on the edge in a very intense way, especially involving the character of William O'Neill. For those who don't know, in real life, after his last interview, this guy committed suicide. And in this film it's shown so well the pain he's going through and why he did what he did. He's between the wall and the sword, being a spy and giving information about the organization while he has this constant conscience battle because he starts to truly believe in the cause and fears for his own life. And as I said, Lekid Stanfield did a terrific job of showing the emotions felt by this person that was in constant anguish. The writing here is extraordinary, especially the attention to detail in each speech given, and the pacing never felt slow to me. I gotta say, this was a tough watch leading to the end. If you know the story, you expect what's coming, but I expected them to show certain things in a more ambiguous way. Nevertheless, it's not a bad thing and the shock value made me really think about how far people go when committing atrocious actions. As for cinematography, this is a beautiful movie with wonderful shots with a delightful color scheme that provided me the right tone that aesthetically fits with the emotions it tries to induce in you. And I love the soundtrack, it's so good. 2021 has given me hope when it comes to movies. I have minor issues with this one that I really don't feel like talking about it because taking my critical side apart, I loved this movie so much and I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 a great contender for my top of 2021 and we're only at the beginning of the year. Have you seen Judas and the Black Messiah? Let me know your thoughts on it. If you like my content, subscribe for more in the future. See ya guys.